Here's the 1965 Sears Silvertone tube-type radio made by Arvin. I got this radio on New Year's Eve of 2008, and you can see it in the video with Organist 1982 and me in Abilene, Texas, when we went to the Paramount Theater. This does work on AM, but the FM performance is really poor. So I'm going to replace the old paper and electrolytic capacitors first, and then see if there's any further problems. Here's the inside. We're going to blow it out, get it all cleaned out. The way that it removes from the wooden case is just by removing these brackets that hold the faceplate and printed circuit board onto the wooden case. So we don't actually have to remove the circuit board from the entire chassis. We just take the whole deal out of the wooden case and then you can get access to replace the caps. Here's the completed silver tone radio. We've got new electrolytics over here, new silicon diode 1N4007. I had to mount one of them up here because I couldn't quite fit them all down in there. I was getting down toward the uh, kind of toward the bottom of my cap supply, so I just paralleled some caps to make up the required values. There was originally 130 in there for an electrolytic, so I used 100 and a 47 in parallel. Also, we had a 0.22 here, so I used 2.1s plus a 0.022, and the other ones that had the exact values. There's nothing wrong with doing that. It will come out to the same value. Might not look quite as neat as if I had the exact one, but it'll it'll be okay. I've got them all soldered together properly. Need to place a new order to Mauser because I'm running low on caps. Put a new 4.7 microfarad ratio detector cap in there, and new anything that looked like it was paper I replaced with mylar. Now we're ready to test it out. I think I may need a new dial lamp bulb. I need to find out what type of bulb that is. We're first going to try AM. We've got it plugged into the isolation transformer. Let's just double check our voltage here. This is one of the very few variable isolation transformers I've ever seen. Let's see here. We'll give it a little bit more there. We'll give it like, that's probably about 120. Check AM. Seven million uninsured. You're risking your health. The New York Times, Harvard, and the American Cancer Society. All of you try it. And exhale through your mouth. AM seems like it's working good. Of UK. He's going to give us the Cleveland perspective courtesy of the Subway Fresh Take Hotline. And Kenny, if game two. Now let's try FM. Looks like we're not getting anything on FM, but I think I found what it might be. Let me press down on this tube. Did I rely on to get home? It comes I on. Feel it I think we've got a bad solder joint at that tube. So I'm going to see if I can fix that and give it another test. I've got the FM working. I had to remove this shield from under the IF amplifier tube. It just solders on there. But I soldered just about everything in the FM section. We soldered everything in the circuit board, and that fixed it. Here's the completed FM radio. FM performance is now good. <laughs> Chesney doing the countdown co-hosting duties this week, and up next, number two, it's Sugarland. It happened. Was to go find my friends down. Now though, let's do this. Ten joints busting out, right? We drank some beer and talked a lot about old times. When the blues finally hit Billy Joe. Said I don't know what it is, but you seem different to me. 